In the feature segment today, America's farmers are getting older even as the number of younger farmers has grown slightly. Less than 15% of U.S. farms list women as the principal operator. Anyone who's lived and worked on a farm recognizes the pivotal role played by women, and one Midwestern photographer is documenting their important contributions. Market to Market's Laurel Bauer Bergmeier explains. It is a fact that the majority of farmers in the U.S. are white males, yet a growing number of women are joining their ranks. Women currently run about 14 percent of the nation's farms, up from only 5 percent in the 1980s. A large number of those operations run primarily by women tend to be smaller and more diverse. Even though there are grain and livestock operations among them, many are part of the growing organic and local foods movements. While women have always been an important part of agriculture, photographer Margie Geiler Alanese felt they were mostly undocumented. And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. Watching this commercial about American farmers during the 2013 Super Bowl inspired Geiler Alanese. It was this moment where I was like, I dealt with a lot of farm imagery throughout my career and, and you know, you just, whatever you see in, in any magazine or publication that you pick up, and it's never, you just never saw it. So um, I had this kind of aha moment, as silly as that might sound. I woke my husband up literally at like two in the morning and I was like, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start photographing women farmers or women in agriculture, not just farmers, you know, ranchers, whatever. Um, in, in all types of agriculture. And the project Farm Her was born. Farm Her documents the important role that women play in the agriculture system. Through photography, Geiler Alanese captures women producers running diverse farming operations. Every single time I am super impressed by them, I will tell you that. They, the, they have a work ethic and they work so hard and um, one thing that I, I will say I see every single time is that they have a a passion and a love for what they do. Um, it, it's hard work, day in, day out. There's no vacations, there's no breaks, um, you know, and so they love what they do, and I see that time and time again. Landy McFarlane Livingston is one of Geiler Alanese's subjects. She is a sixth generation farmer and a fourth generation Angus breeder. McFarland Livingston is co-owner of Hoover Angus Farm, a 400-head cattle ranch located in southern Iowa. I really love Angus cattle. I think it's in my blood. I really do. Uh, my great-grandfather started the Angus herd 86 years ago. And, um, you know, I've been born and raised in it. I love the lifestyle. I love the genetics. I love the, the EPDs, what are expected progeny differences that help us make better beef, and I, I just love that. I love um, looking out on, on a pasture of cows and, and seeing them be happy, and so it's, it's in my blood, I love it. Well, come here, girls. McFarland Livingston's operation sells Angus genetics worldwide. It is one of the oldest purebred Angus herds in the nation, and she is proud to be part of Farm Her to showcase that. Margie's images uh, that I've seen of me are really, um, they're things that I wouldn't have, have expected. I mean, I, I know I, I do my chores every day and she took pictures of me just doing my chores, going about my business. But she has a really unique ability to capture things. And when I looked at those pictures, I was like, wow, that is pretty cool, you know? And that's pretty cool for the consumer to see the things that we do on a daily basis that we don't even think about, I don't even think about but um, they're part of what we do. One, two, three. You know, that works sometimes. <laughs> That's a girl. Lois Reichert is another of Geiler Alanese's subjects. She's been running a dairy goat operation in rural Knoxville, Iowa for more than eight years. Reichert's small herd of nearly 15 head is made up primarily of La Mancha goats. Their personalities, They're, they are, each has a very individual and fun personality. Um, they're, uh, 
I like to say they're a combination between dogs and cats. They're, they have the independence of cats, but the friendliness and most of the time desire to please of dogs. <laughs> um, they're just fun, they're loving. Um, I don't know, I still, every day, the most satisfaction I get in my day is looking out and looking at my healthy, happy animals. That's, I don't know why, it just does something for me. <laughs> Reichert makes and sells cheeses from the goat milk her animals produce. She sells most of her cheese at the Des Moines Farmer's Market, but also ships a weekly supply to a distributor in Chicago. While it was hard being photographed at first, Reichert says Geiler Alanese is good at putting a person at ease. It was really embarrassing at first, because <laughs> especially the great big picture of my face. I, what I really loved were the images she captured of what I do, of the goats and, like I told her, the brushes and the things like that. I was blown away the first time I saw her pictures. Um, they were not at all what I expected. Um, so after the initial embarrassment, <laughs> um, it's really been delightful because it's like I explained to people that, that this captures who I really am and what I do. Geiler Alanese says Farm Her also gives women a voice. Many people who visit the website communicate with one another. If it gives people um, comfort in that there's other pe others out there doing what they're doing, um, I hear that all the time, that they, it's living in a rural area and working um, by yourself is isolating, and so seeing those other women or having that connection to them, um, just visually, is, is a sense of community. Having begun in 2013, Farm Her is still in its infancy. To date, Geiler Alanese has photographed 32 women farmers, mostly in Iowa and the Midwest. In the future, she hopes to travel nationwide into other countries to profile many more women. I feel personally that um, from, a, from a photographer standpoint that I'm so happy with how they're turning out and I feel like they're actually showing what I see or you know what you would see when you're on a farm. I, I think they show that and, and so that makes me excited. Um, every time I, I take more pictures and look at them, I'm like, yay, this is what I wanted to, to have happen. For Market to Market, I'm Laurel Bauer Bergmeier. And you can watch the story on Farm Her again on our Farm Week website. That's farmweek.msucares.com. You can also watch Farm Week stories on our Farm Week Facebook page and YouTube. We'll also have a link to Farm Her.